Another essential tool that you can find for free at the community centers um, is your soul gun and, of course, the accompanying soul balls that come along with it. A soul ball is kind of just what it sounds like. It is a little ball item. Um, looks like this, and it works very similar to a Pokeball. You go up to a tame. <coughs> select it and it will ball it up for you. These work just like the cryopods in regular arc, but so much better. Your gun will also allow you to ball up tames from a distance. So I can just go ahead and package up any of those into soul balls. When you look at a soul ball in your inventory, again, it's going to give you a whole lot of information about your tame. Soul balls are fantastic. They never expire or run out of charge, so there is no need to put them in a cryo fridge like you would with a cryopod. They last forever. They cost um, just some crystal to create, so they are very easy to make as well. Any tames in a soul ball will regain health while they are soul balled up. They will gain levels while they are in soul balls. And perfect for those who are breeding, you can soul ball up a baby. It will grow to maturity within the soul ball and it will automatically imprint any babies for you. So it makes it very, very useful, much better than our cryopods. Going along with that, we have the soul terminal. Soul terminals are great for storing your soul balls. You can put in any of your dinos into the soul terminal. It stores them for you. You can search very easily for any souls that you might have and be able to find them quickly. So soul terminal, definitely a great way to store that. If you're not a fan of the modern look of this, if you go into its radio menu, go to options. On the side here, you should see modern mesh. If I select that, I can change it to primitive, which is this, or a third option, which is basic. It looks like a lovely little miniature vault.